So I did this lettering treatment for Stay Loose, and I'm kind of happy with it, but I feel like it doesn't give off the loose vibes. It's a little too tight and perfect. So I'm thinking I might play around with a liquify tool to see if I can just make it a little more wiggly, a little more free, a little more weird. So I'm gonna go under the transform tool and then at the bottom grab the liquify tools and I'm gonna play around with the warp option. So down at the bottom, you can see you've got a size here and that'll control how big the brush is that's gonna warp your lettering. So I'm just gonna experiment and just like move stuff around and see if I can make something cool happen. I don't really have a specific plan in mind for this, but it's a really fun way to just sort of push things around and experiment. It's also a great way to get that like trippy 60s, 70s, like retro type vibe if you wanted to do that. So you can just like move things around with this and if you want to get like finer detail, you can bring that brush size down. See how this goes and you can kind of come in and get a little bit more precise. Maybe we want to do some like little wiggle action on this part of the T. You can have a lot of fun with this tool, but you don't need custom hand lettering to use this. You can use this with regular old type. And here I just use the type tool. So you can see this is a type layer. And I just typed out the word something. If I go into transform and then down to liquify, you'll see it's telling me I need to convert it to a pixel layer because you can't modify it as type, which is fine. I'll just convert it to a layer. Another tool within the liquify that I think is fun to play with is like the pucker and the bloat. So you can get like sort of a weird 3D vibe with this. So let's go to the beginning here of the S and just sort of like tap on this. And you can see that the S is just sort of, the whole front of the word is looking like it's coming towards us. You can sort of just keep pulling to expand that out. And then we can switch over to the pucker tool then go over to the end. I'm gonna bring the brush size up a little bit to control more of the word. You can see that we can do the same sort of tapping thing and just send that like back into space. And you'll see it's starting to get like stretched out and super weird. And if you wanted to fix that, we could go back in with like the warp tool, push those back in to get it more in line with what we're trying to do. So as you can see, it's a lot of fun to mess around with your type and lettering with the liquify tool in Adobe Fresco. I also like using it to mess around with my other illustrations as well to maybe change the proportions of a character or just try to make something a little bit more weird. I always like to try to bump up the weird level if I can. I'm posting these quick Fresco Friday tip videos every Friday in addition to my regular videos, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of them.